Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna, and today is going to be a chill cleaning video. Well, it won't be chill for me, but <laughs> hopefully it will be chill for you. So I don't really know how this video is gonna go. I haven't really done something like this before. I have a feeling it might end up turning into sort of like a daily vlog since I'm gonna have to take a lot of breaks having little Miss Hazel by me. If you're new here, my daughter's name is Hazel and she's seven months, so she's go, go, going and I'm constantly chasing her around the house. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, but the plan is for me to be deep cleaning my kitchen, my living room, um, maybe the rooms, I'm not sure. I'm. I'm not gonna try to like overload myself because um, it's a lot to do. Uh, if I'm being honest, I've been kind of slacking off a little bit around the house um, lately and not purposefully or anything. I've just noticed I've been slow to do things and they're not getting done or my husband's beating me to it, which I'm very thankful that he is helping me out around the house. But I just don't, I don't like I, I like that he helps me out, don't get me wrong. I'm very, very appreciative of it, but I just feel like it's my job. Like, I, I want to be the one to clean and keep the house in order and just like, I feel very productive when I do that and I want to be the person that does that. What? You wanna get out? Oh, excuse you. I'm not sure where I finished talking, my camera, uh, filled up with storage, but I'm back now and I can't remember where I left off But I was saying that I'm just noticing things that I'm supposed to be getting done or want to be getting done not getting done or not only that but my husband gets to them first and I'm very thankful like don't get me wrong. I'm so appreciative that he does those things and helps me out around the house but I just feel like it's my responsibility like I want to be the one to keep the house in order and um, tidy everything up and so it makes me feel like I'm not being I don't know it makes me feel like I'm not doing all that I should be and I'm not so I know that it's not a good excuse but I've just been feeling really off lately like just really out of it and not like myself like not necessarily down but just like bleh, like I don't know how to explain it. I'm just really tired and out of it. <laughs> I know it's not a good good excuse, but I do think that's the reason that I've been um, kind of slacking off, not purposefully, but just, it just is happening that way and it's not an excuse. Like it doesn't matter how I feel, I just need to um, get it done. So that's where, <laughs> that is what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I also wanna mention that I'm not a pro cleaner. Like I'm not, the person to come to for cleaning advice, but I'm gonna do my best to get everything deep cleaned and back in order. Nothing crazy. We're just gonna be making our house nice again. <laughs> um, I'll show you what it looks like so that way I kind of have accountability to make it look really nice. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So the kitchen really isn't that messy. I mean, it is messy, but not bad I guess like it won't take long um, the living room does need some picking up it's just cluttered there's stuff everywhere um, this however is not going to be cleaned up because that is my husband's workspace and um, I'm not touching that because I don't want to mess anything up All right, well let's get started <laughs> Okay, so I like to start at one corner of the house when I'm like deep cleaning and just get it done because then it makes me feel like, okay, I got a section done and then I can get the next section done and then the next section and then the whole house. <laughs> so I'm going to be starting with this little corner over here, which I often neglect because that's where the mail and bills are and I'm clueless to what to do with those. So we're just going to be organizing. It's time to stop procrastinating and get to it. Okay. 
even barely get a dent in this, but Hazel is acting pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna lay her down for a nap, and then um, I'll be back. Right. All right, so Hazel is finally asleep, and now I'm gonna tackle the island and try to get that clean, because once that's clean, the rest of the house will probably look a lot more clean, just because that's like the first thing you see. So I'm gonna tackle that and probably just like watch a YouTube video while I'm doing that. So probably speed this up. We are just gonna be um, cleaning the island. things before I continue. So if you saw me spraying stuff on the counter, that was my vinegar and water mixture. It's in a, um, it's in an old bleach, it's in an old bleach spray bottle, which I know that you're not supposed to put like acidic vinegar in a plastic bottle, but it's what I have right now. So that's what I keep it in. Um, and it's just one part vinegar, one part water. And I spray it on here, let it sit for like two minutes and then wipe it off. Um, also if you saw me dusting all the crumbs onto the floor. I'm just gonna sweep anyway after this. But while I am sweeping and wiping off the counter, I want to clean our drains and the sink. So right now they're like full of food, which is really gross. But I'm gonna show you how I clean, like deep clean the sinks and the drains so they don't start smelling. Um, what I will do is put a little bit of baking soda, vinegar, um, dish soap, and water, and then I just fill the sink with it. Um, obviously after I dump the drains, I fill the sink with it, let it sit for a bit, and then um, like I'll wipe the counter down and sweep the floor, and then after I'm finished with that, I will kind of wipe it off, like wipe down the drain so that that gunk comes off, and then I'll drain it and rinse it all out, and it makes it so shiny. <laughs> I normally like to use gloves when I'm doing the dishes or doing the drains because my hands are super dry, and the hot water really gets them, also the vinegar and baking soda, so I would suggest using gloves if you have them, um, just because I don't want your hands getting like burned. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> okay, so we plug the drain. Ugh. Plug the drains. Splash a little bit of vinegar, white vinegar. A little bit of baking soda. Water. Also, it gives off a really strong scent, so maybe like wear a mask or don't smell it. <laughs> and then some dog dish soap. And we fill it up with water. Okay, now while that sits for a couple minutes, I'm gonna wipe down the counters and sweep. Okay, so now it's time to empty these out. And like I said, I wanna wear my gloves because of like the chemical reaction. <laughs> um, also, you can do your own research on this and if it's safe to breathe in, I actually don't know, but <laughs> this is what I've always done, so. Um, but I'm gonna kind of like swipe with my hands to get the gunk out, drain it, and then we're gonna rinse it really good and wipe it down. And I kind of scrub the drain cap things, like drain catchers, because those get really like gunky and it's gross. <laughs> I'll just rinse it off. I'll show you it, but then we're gonna let those air dry and yeah, this is pretty much it. <laughs> All right, next thing is this back section. I'm gonna spray the stove with that same vinegar water mixture that I cleaned the counters with, and I'm gonna spray the whole counters with that. And then this one's not actually too messy, it's just that the, the stove top is really dirty. So I scrub it with a sponge, and then yeah, you'll see.
So it's done, if you can't tell. But I want to show I want to show you something in case I have any avid cleaners on here who have a good tip for me. So I have deep cleaned this stove, like scrubbed, let it soak in stuff. Oh, the lighting is weird. I have let the stove like soak in cleaner and scrub it so many times and I cannot get this stuff off. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I've done like everything. I've done where you turn on the stove and scrub it so it's like warmer and it's not food, but it's not scratches. It's like white. They look like scratches, but they're not. It's like white stuff around our burner, but I cannot get it off. I don't know what it is. So if you know what it is and you know how to get it off, please help me out. <laughs> like send me a message or a comment on this video how to get it off because I'm desperate. Okay, I feel pretty good about the kitchen. Um, I do want to get the stainless appliances cleaned if I have extra time at the end, but I really want to get the living room cleaned now because ugh. Gross. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why it's not focusing, but we're just gonna go for it. charging and it smells like vinegar now but um this is the kitchen which i already showed you like i said i'm leaving his work area and then here is the living room i still have to vacuum but here's the living room i'm gonna take that downstairs and then find a place for janner's toys up there but otherwise i feel like we've made good progress what do you think that down there needs some work <laughs> All right, now it's time to vacuum. Hazel's awake now. How do we go play with your toys while I vacuum? Okay, I think I need to do the stairs, but I'm trying to decide if I should wait till her second nap. I might do it though, I'll just check on her frequently because I just want to get it done. <laughs> She's being such a good good girl sitting in her high chair with no food. Hazel, say hi. Say hi. You mean a good girl? <laughs> So that's all that I really wanted to focus on today. Um, clearly it's not my whole house and I've got a lot more work to do, but I didn't want to overwork myself today. So I'm gonna go finish up my normal chores and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. If you have been watching my videos for a while or if you're brand new but you like my channel, then feel free to subscribe down below. We would love to have you a part of our tiny community here on YouTube. Um, it's growing, but it's tiny. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and maybe I'll see you back next time. Bye!